them. Well, you might be asking yourself why. You know, yeah. why the drop yeah. from fake news to fake profiles? Mm -hmm. uh, Facebook also has an age issue. There's a lot going on there. But we got the scoop from NBC correspondent Jolene Kent, who was working on a story for Nightly News tonight right here in Seattle, and she made a stop by Take 5. Well, we think of Facebook as being um, unbreakable, you know, and, and untouchable. But when users are dealing with this, they don't want to mess with Facebook anymore. We're seeing people, you know, giving, getting these fake profiles or getting fake news and a lot of people are jumping ship. Is that part of yes. what the stock plunge was about today? That's exactly it. What we're starting to see is the amount of time that people spend on Facebook is declining. Also the rate of new users logging in or joining Facebook or even just using it say on a monthly or a daily basis. That rate of growth is slowing down. Those numbers have been the cash cow for investors for so long. So as investors realize what is happening the outlook for the future of the company declines and that puts Facebook in a really difficult position. But I should be fair and say that Facebook has been anticipating this for a while. They think it is going to hit its bottom line. They've said it before. How low is it going to go? I mean, because no <laughs> kid you. wants to go on Facebook anymore. You know, no. the young people do they're not want to be They're snapping, they're Instagramming, yeah. you know, they're using all kinds of different platforms. So I agree, Facebook definitely has an age issue here and they're definitely facing an uphill battle when it comes to trust. The real question is if once you lose a consumer's trust, can you win it back? How much money do you have to spend to win it back? Let me ask you something though. Do you need Facebook for your job? You know what? I think a lot of us do. I still use it, but I will say on a personal note, I have scaled back any personal posts. I've definitely checked my privacy settings multiple times every month, especially in the aftermath of the Cambridge Analytica data scandal. And if you go to my Facebook page, it's mostly work videos now, like stuff like this. Yeah. How about oh, you? Will you put this on your Facebook page? Uh, I hope so. Can I? I would love to. <laughs> but we would love it too. <laughs> do you do you decrease your use of Facebook? I sort of. Basically, anything that is public, I mean, I'll put on there. So mm -hmm. if, if I'm willing to share it with everybody, I'll put it on there. I have a personal profile, of course, mm -hmm. but if it's not, if it's something that I wouldn't tell a thousand people, then I'm not going to put it on there. I think that's a pretty good baseline for privacy in general at this point. I hope you don't set yourself up for like getting catfished right now. Me? Yeah. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> I don't want a fake profile of like Jolene Kent for sending you on Facebook. You know what? I don't think I'm that cool. I don't think anyone's going to do that. But hey, if they do, I'll report them. <laughs> you know how to now. <laughs> yeah, I've learned. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can watch Joe's story tonight on NBC Nightly News. She's really delving into like how normal people, the everyday folks, are being impacted by fake accounts, even some police departments. And we'll be airing more of our conversation on King 5 News throughout the evening.